Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to the Video Assisted Instruction Software Package Series. Today, we are on our Lecture 8 of Week 4. Now, let's proceed to our topic for today. So, the first topic is Adjust Column Width. The second is Insert and Delete Rows and Columns. And the last topic we have is Apply Colors, Patterns, and Borders. So, Adjust Column Width to accommodate data. By default, column width is 8.43 characters wide, a little less than 1 inch. One or more columns can be adjusted using the ribbon, the shortcut menu, or the mouse. In figure 30, shows an image of a common column formatting commands. If you're going to click format, then you can go to column width, then you need to apply the size of the column width you needed to proceed. Now, in figure 31, shows an image of preparing to change the column width using a mouse by pointing out adjacent to the column A and B. Now let's proceed to insert and delete rows and columns. To insert and delete rows and columns, when you insert a new row, the contents of the worksheet shift down from the newly inserted row. When you insert a new column, the contents of the worksheet shift to the right of the new column. Excel inserts rows above the cell pointer and columns to the left. Insert multiple rows or columns by selecting the same number of rows or columns heading to be inserted. In figure 32 shows an image of insert dialog back. As you notice, you can click from the option under the insert dialog box. If you're going to click sheet cells right, right here, as radio button, the description is Shift cells on the right from the selected cell. Shift cells down from the selected cell. If it's entire row button, the description is insert a new row and shift down all rows from selected rows. And the last one we have the enter column, which have a description of insert a new column and shift on the right all columns from the selected column. To insert and delete rows and columns, when you delete a row, the content of the worksheet shift up. And when you delete a column, the content of a worksheet shift to the left. Delete multiple rows or columns by selecting all the row or column headings to be deleted. Now let's proceed to our last topic for today, apply colors, patterns, and borders. You can add enhancements such as colors patterns and borders by using number one border and fill colors button in the front group on the home tab of the ribbon and on the mini toolbar or fill tab and border tab in the format cells dialog box such as in two ways by using the ribbon and by using the right click as an option next is cell styles are predesigned combinations of formatting attributes they use the cell styles button in the styles group on the home tab. In figure 33 shows an image of live preview of fill color. You will notice there is a what you called fill tab. You're going to click this while you are in the option menu of the mouse. Then there's a what you call background, the fill effect, more colors, the pattern color, and the pattern style. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 8. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck.